Looking back at my video on the signs that you're financially stable, even if you don't feel like it, a lot of people were very refreshed and had a lot of positive feedback for that style of video. And for that, I wanted to give y'all something special. First of all, I wanna tell you to make sure you click the link in the description because once you click on that, you'll have a full free year of nothing but information coming from me every single week straight to your email inbox. There's a lot of really helpful and insightful information that can help you take your wealth to a different level and help you take your financial stability to another level. So check that out. But anyway, I, I love to see that so many people were refreshed. And even if they didn't reach the level of being financially stable, it, they were refreshed because they knew where they stood and they knew what they needed to do. And I love making videos like that because to me, those have the biggest impact on people. Today, we're gonna to talk about something a little different that I haven't touched on as much as I'd like to. And it's why you need to be financially stable. And for a lot of people, it might seem obvious of why you need to be financially stable, but I can pretty much promise you that it's not as obvious as you think for everybody because there wouldn't be videos like signs you're financially stable, even if you didn't feel like it with so many views, if that wasn't the case. And as a matter of fact, I'm about to make another video about signs that you are not financially stable, even if you do feel like it, because there's a lot of misconceptions. But it is clear to me that we all need some further clarity on this topic because a lot of us are somewhere in the middle, not sure if we're financially stable, financially unstable, broke, rich, we don't know. And some people, as someone in my comments pointed out, actually have this thing called money dysmorphia where even though they are doing well financially, they feel like they're not. And then on the other hand, you got money delulu on this other side where people who aren't doing well financially feel like they are. And then there's a lot of folks somewhere in the middle, not really sure where to go, but they're starting to question themselves and say things like, well, I'm, I'm comfortable where I'm at. So, I mean, is it even worth it? And they start to get to a point where they're not sure if it's worth the sacrifice and worth the amount of work it takes to become financially stable. And a lot of people who have similar mindsets to that just don't realize that they're fatigued, they're tired, they have a lot of responsibility. But the thing is, life is hard anyway. And that leads me to this point. Your quality of life will improve in every realm of it. I mean, we're talking mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, of course, health wise. I mean, in every way you can imagine, your quality of life will improve. Because when you have money in your savings, when you have money in your investments, when you're able to afford what you're paying for and you're not living above your means, in fact, you're living below your means, you don't have all these miscellaneous bills that are weighing you down further, you don't have any glaring bad habits that are setting you back, you have this thing called peace of mind. So you're less stressed out, which means you're able to go into everything with a much clearer thought process than you did before you were less stressed out. You're able to sleep better, you feel calmer. You, you're not gonna freak out as much if something goes down at your job and now all of a sudden you have to look for another job. Because you have less stress in your life, your health is in much better shape. You have something to look at when you look at your bank account because your hard work paid off, so that gives you happiness. So that gives you satisfaction within the work that you've done to help yourself out. And you have something to show for it. You're paying your debt off or you just have no debt. Financial stability is the gateway to success in all aspects of your life. Your relationships are gonna go so much better because you know a lot of marriages end because of financial issues. So it's not too far of a stretch to say that relationships where there's boyfriend and girlfriend, they can have some friction if finances ever becomes a problem too. And that can lead to emotional turmoil. But you, you're not gonna have to worry about any of that because you've been stable this whole time. You've been making stable decisions, smart decisions, not just with your money, but in life in general. And so all of these aspects that we've talked about are just gonna improve. They're just gonna improve because they don't have any choice but to improve. How could they not improve? You're doing all the things you're supposed to do. You've got your savings account automated. You pay yourself first. You're investing your 401k, your Roth IRA, your personal investing account. All your bills are paid on time. You're responsible. You got stuff going for yourself. You have a good career. And that's why I said this is the gateway to success in all aspects of life because you're just making good decisions, one decision after another. And that's why your quality of life improves because you keep making the right decision over and over and over again. And, and the more you make the right decision, the, the more chances of you continuing to make good decisions again and again and again. And that in itself is a good feeling and it adds fulfillment to life because now 
you have more options, more choices, you can afford better health care, you can afford better food, you can afford to up and leave if you just stop liking your environment for whatever reason. And I've actually done that before, best decision I've ever made. You can afford a plethora of things that you probably haven't even thought about or imagined yet. But the best part in my opinion about this is just because you can afford a lot of these things doesn't mean that you're trigger happy on affording all of these things. It's just knowing that you can because you put in the work to make these things happen. And that's special. And you know what else is special? Making money in your sleep. That is one of the best feelings in the world. And when you're financially stable, you can do it because the thing is, not everybody has to be an entrepreneur. Not everybody has to have a YouTube channel or have anything going for themselves where there's a side business going on. Anybody can take their money and invest in the stocks. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. You can invest in an index fund, an ETF, or a stock. And if you do so correctly, which I do have investing content that absolutely nobody watches, and this is a very important step when it comes to being financially stable. But anyway, investing correctly and doing so over the long term is one of the best ways to make money in your sleep, period. Right now, every single one of my investment accounts or up and if you want to see exactly what they look like and things like that check out my wealth journey series i have a bunch of wealth journey videos where i disclose exactly what my net worth is exactly how much is in my investments and then i have videos that put a magnifying glass on them and literally show you what's inside of my portfolios so check that out if you're interested but it's a beautiful thing to be making money in your sleep because there have been times where i've literally woken up or come to the end of the day and check my phone and I'm like, wow, I made $800 today. I made $1,200 today. Like it just depends on what day it is, but it's an amazing feeling because I didn't do anything. All I did was put my money in the right places and then boom, it just started growing for me. Life is too short not to be making money in your sleep. I mean, you got to think about it like this. You trade your time for money so much of the time, the least you can do after you've saved money and after you've spent money on necessities and, and all these other things, right? The least you can do is take some of that money and put it into something that is going to passively make you extra money on the side because time is going to go by anyway. And investments, the best thing about investments is they compound. For reference, in one of my accounts, which is my individual investing account, which is my absolute favorite, I put in a good $13,000 of my own money. You know what my investments did? They spit back out another 18,000. So I've effectively more than doubled my principal and my account is now over 132%. And that's not to brag, it's to say that when you're financially stable, you now have the option to put extra money that you have that you could have done anything else with and put it into something that's gonna do what? create more money for you. I mean, after all, that's what we do in our retirement accounts that work. We're just passively investing our money into those accounts and then boom, once we look after a few years or after a few decades, now we're ready to retire because we got millions in it. Why not do the same exact thing for yourself? So that's, that is a special, special thing. And it's also very reassuring. Of course, there's fluctuations. Of course, the stock market can crash. And of course, there's risk involved. That's why I say you have to do so correctly and you have to do so over the long term. But I say that because success feeds success. When you have the mindset to do well financially, you're going to continue to do things that are good ideas for your finances. You're going to say, you know what? You're going to start off simple. I want to save some money. I want to build an emergency fund. I want to make sure that I'm good so if anything goes wrong, at least I have a cushion to fall back on. Cool. You know what? I have some student loans. I want to pay that off. Boom. Okay. I'm paying it down. We're looking good now. You know what? I want to get a promotion at work to make some more money so I can put more money into my savings and start investing a little bit. Boom. And so it's going to continue feeding success. And then eventually you'll get the bright idea. I want to really put a lot of money into investments that I've been doing research on for years. Or I want to start my own business that I'm then going to reinvest into. And then eventually I'm going to start getting paid a continuous stream of income from that. So that's what's so special about it. And just being financially stable in general is the success is going to continue feeding itself. And it's going to just be contagious. You're, you're not going to want to stop being successful. And it's a great feeling because you're, you're never tired. It's crazy how before you're financially stable, you're tired. You're dragging around. You're kind of wondering if it's even worth it. Because I've been there going to work. I was working. 12 hours a day, seven days a week. And I wasn't struggling or nothing, but I definitely wouldn't say I was financially stable at the time. 
I was barely stable as a person at the time. I was working a job I hated, but I was always tired. And I was only at that place for like a year and eight months. I'm at the job I'm at now. I've been going on five and a half years and I'm a few positions above where I was at my previous job. And I have more responsibility here. And I have a YouTube channel and all these other things going on, but I don't feel tired because when you're succeeding and when you start to win, you're not tired. And it's crazy how the same thing works in sports. When you're winning against another team, you're not so tired. You might be a little fatigued, but you're not as tired as them because they have the mental stress of dealing with the fact that they're losing, actively losing, and the fact that their bodies are getting tired because they're doing a lot of physical activity. Same thing with life. And this is especially true in fighting. As y'all know, I like to do Muay Thai as a hobby. And that is how I know that information. But the other great thing about it is you always know in the back of your head, if you have made so much money in your investment account, you pretty much know at any given moment that you feel like if you absolutely had to, you could cash out some of your return just to put into your savings, just to know that you're good. Or you can cash some of that out just to go on a nice vacation or just to buy something that you really want without having any guilt because that's extra money that you literally earned. And that leads me to this point. What is more amazing on this earth than giving yourself and your family the life they deserve? Just because you love them, just because they're great people, just because they're related to you, whatever your reason is, what is more special than that? From a monetary standpoint, now what, what is more great than being able to do those things because you put the appropriate amount of work in and you've done the research, you've learned continuously, you've always improved something about yourself and therefore your money started to improve over and over and over again and you just kept making good decision after decision after decision and now you can do things like pay for your kids to go to college. Your, your kids could be homeschooled. You never worry too much about medical expenses because you know Whatever the case is, you're gonna be able to afford the best care for your family and for yourself. You know that you're investing now for your kids, so by the time they hit a certain age, they're already gonna have multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars in their accounts. You don't have to worry about relying on other people helping you out when things go bad because you got your own. Because what I couldn't help but notice is some people who are in this category of not being able to provide themselves or their family the life they deserve is that some of them can get really out of character when money gets tight, almost to the point of expecting other people to help them out or to hand something out to them or like they owe them something or something. And I've seen it happen a million times over. Obviously everybody in that category is not doing that, but I do want to point out, I know that I've seen it happen. I'm pretty sure that you've seen it happen. And it's a crazy thing to see because I always ask myself when I see that, now, would they do that? Would they act like this if they had the money to take care of what they needed to take care of? If they had all the money in the world right now, would they be doing that? Would they be making this decision? And that's the thing that haunts me. I don't know when it will stop haunting me, but the part of the reason that I make these videos is because I've seen so many people put themselves in bad financial situations and then blame every freaking body else that has absolutely nothing to do with it. They blame their job for not giving them a promotion. They blame their job for not giving them overtime anymore. They blame their girlfriend or their boyfriend. They blame the economy. They blame the president. They blame the senators. They blame everybody except for themselves. And only if if they were financially stable, they wouldn't be doing none of that or caring about any of that. I can pretty much guarantee you that. But because things aren't going in some people's way, they act up. So I say all that because I want you to know being financially stable doesn't automatically ensure everything I just said. But if you start off financially stable as quickly as possible within your career, you're going to be beyond financially stable, which is why I made that free course of how to be financially stable and beyond is because once you hit financial stability, I want you to start really working on building your income from there. And you don't have to get a better job. You don't have to build a business. You can start investing and that's going to increase your income, which a lot of people don't realize. And it's a very slept on topic, particularly on my channel, because whenever I make an investment video, I get like a fourth of the views I get on every, all my other videos. So I really want y'all to continue to build and continue to just be stable and make the right decision. 
and just continue letting your success feed success. Don't ever stop. Don't ever let up because there's no reason to. And, and I'm not saying never get comfortable, never relax, never have fun. Not saying that at all. But I am saying if you're making good decisions, keep making good decisions. Keep looking into how you can improve and get better. Keep educating yourself on things that you're not knowledgeable on now so that in the future you don't have to do it. But all these reasons that I said in this video are exactly why you need to be financially stable. Because if not, you can lose sight of what's important and you can lose sight of even who you are if you're not financially stable. And the economy has not impressed me yet. <laughs> so are we gonna blame external things or are we gonna improve ourselves so that we can control what's going on internally and therefore not be affected by things externally? at least not as much. I don't know about y'all, but I like to have a stress-free life. I like to have money. I don't have to have a billion dollars, but I like to have money and I like to do what I want to do. And I like to have a peace of mind. I like to have freedom. I like to spend time with my girlfriend. I like to do my hobbies. You know what I'm saying? And I like to make these videos. I like doing my job at work and I don't want anything interrupting that. And so the best thing I can do is instead of identifying myself within what I do and what my hobbies are and what I do for fun and how much money I make, the least I can do is set myself up for financial success by putting systems in place and putting money in place so that if anything goes wrong in any facet of my life, I'm not losing sight of who I am. I'm Reggie Bryant and I'll always be Reggie Bryant no matter what. And you will not see me deviate from who I am just because of money or because life gets hard. I'm a firm believer of that. But anyway, that is the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth. If you have not already, go ahead and click that link in the description. There is something special waiting for you. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.